this other thing you said, and I've heard you repeat that about the speaker. And you say that in the meeting with the speaker, not in the, in the chamber. So we all are not privy to what you say the speaker says. That the speaker mentions this uh, guy and says because this guy is insulting him, he will make... So let me repeat it. Let me clarify. As difficult. Right, no, and not business difficult. We were in Mr. Speaker's office as leadership trying to fine-tune the best way to manage the floor for that afternoon. In the process, Mr. Speaker said, Kevin Taylor, there is a video that Kevin Taylor is insulting him that he was supporting government to pass a budget. And his own people were insulting him. These were his words. So he suddenly gave up on the engagement that he was going to rope and get into the chamber. You've known me. I may make mistakes as a politician. I may misquote and all that. But on this occasion, please take my words. Mr. Speaker and I are very close. When we're backbenchers, <coughs> we go to him for advice and all that. I am telling you, I am telling you that these were his words. Mr. Speaker, said uh, uh, <laughs> Kevin Taylor was insulting him in a video, and he gave up because we're still having a meeting in his office. Okay. I am saying so. And Mr. Speaker knows I'm telling the truth. He said his people were insulting him. They've reported him to Kevin Taylor, and there's a video. He's insulting him. These were his words. Why? What would I gain? Okay. I've got, I've got a number of questions for you. What, what would I back. gain? I'll come back and to it. He gave up. I'll, I'll come back to it. Where, where you talk about you talk about verbal abuse by.